Chris on Lean Plus Lifestyles. Um, Selena. Hi! You all love Maya's banana pancakes, so I've come up with a recipe to do something else which, which Maya loves. Brownies! Brownies. So um, Maya's going to go and get a jacket on. And uh, so, so as you now know, we're making brownies, um, but this is a flourless recipe. Um, so for that, I'm going to show you a great way of using rice as a, as a flour. It has to be brown rice, because obviously, as we all know, white rice is still refined and got some form of a process, whereas brown rice hasn't. So, you can do this in batches and weigh it out as necessary, but you want to get one of these with a cross blade on it okay, to make sure you can get these grounded up. Okay, so here's here's our flour. Okay, what we need to do now is you need to blend it down. So, so uh, sieve it. Make sure you get all those chunky bits out. Don't be afraid if at the minute your rice will be hot because it would be because it's just been smashed up with, with the motor. So allow that to cool down. to making the brownies. So I'm going to add a peeled banana, full peeled banana, and you're going to blend that until you've got a nice base. Just a dash of almond. 
almond milk. And then you're going to blend that once again. baking tray with tin foil and shiny side down. You're going to get all of your mixture, just scoop around the edge of the blender, get all of it done, not wasted, like that. Preheated oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. See you in 20 minutes. Here's a cheeky little tip for you. For those of you that can't have brownies without the frosting, um, let's get some agave. Got a little pot. up, your heart's content, a little bit of almond milk in there, <clears throat> you can adjust the consistency to how you like your frosting. If you like a really thick frosting, add more cocoa powder. If you want it oozy, these brownies would be quite fudgy anyway, so depends if you're having them hot or cold. I don't know about you, but there's a nice frosting. Keep mixing it in. Can you all take a quick look? Take a little while. Let's get rid of those cocoa lumps. Leave that to cool for about half an hour, 40 minutes. Okay, so now I'll just put the coating on the frosting on the top. Finish it up optional, of course. A little bit of coconut. Alright guys, this is the uh, finished finished product. One mile. Mmm. Um. What do you think? Mm. They're nice. Now, now they're gluten free, they're vegan free, and um, and they're fat free too. There's hardly any calories in these bad boys. That's why I've put, I've put these in the two week transformation cookbook. 
So for those of you that, have, uh, that are enrolling into this, off on the 1st of October, these are in there too. Um, great to snack on. Um, really fun if you've got kids. You can bake, bake with the kids. Wonderful. Enjoy. Yeah.